Hello, my name is William Ennisbo Davis. I'm here representing poetry for the West End Carlboro Poetry Festival. This is the second time I've had an opportunity to share my work for this festival. And it's amazing that we have respected the times and are giving those who are at home an opportunity to also listen to the amazing poems that are going to be shared October 16th. I'm going to open up with this first poem that also respects those times. I really hope that my eyes can say thank you loud enough. As considering these times when our smiles are forced to take a back seat to these much needed protections, I really hope the warmth of my eyes and the peace in my tone shows my appreciation to your safety. And I really hope my eyes can take the place of my voice to show my gratitude of your choice of the simple task of wearing a mask as this gesture may be the one that saves me considering as of lately they seem more necessity an accessory to show that you actually respect me. And please know and believe that my distance only shows my commitment to you not being a victim of any potential sickness, so I will gladly give you this six feet as I have this newfound understanding of this necessary uncomfortable of needed self-control which just reminds me of our reality, of really having no control, which in turn makes me question, which is more important, having control or simply just having life Laughter and the respect for humanity, as I promise you, this covering for you is as much as it is for me. My expressions blanketed, covered in silence, just for you. Community. Fact. When the word help is defined as a verb, the definition says to make it easier for someone to do something by offering one's services or resources. It seems now more than ever that that service of help is so important. That that help is given and help is extended, so allow my covering to act as a giving guidance until these trying times have come to an ending. But until then, I really hope that my eyes can say goodbye, good enough for now, so when the next time comes for us to be eye to eye, that I can see that warmth of your smile. But until then, I really hope that my eyes and say thank you. Just good enough for you to know. I promise you, I really, really mean it. Thank you all so much for doing your part in keeping us safe. Because keeping us safe, make sure that we are not in any harm's way. Appreciate you. As I mentioned, I'm a teacher here in Chapel Hill. I teach at Emerson Waldorf, and it's really important that I share this poem right here. Let's do this one. Dear students, today I asked you to listen as it was my intention to teach, but the constant class distractions, the unnecessary question asking, the backpack fumbling, the under the breath mumbling, the paper crumpling, just all of the extra made it so hard for me to give my education a lecture. And you students question my frustration as I've explained and explain, rephrase and explain, but yet you say you don't get it. I really blame it on your effort and the lack thereof, plus your opposition of commitment, and then you really wonder why you get the grades you get. Dear students, I have to say it again, as I am sure you have stopped paying attention, me acknowledging you directly ever so often is required is what I have learned. Class, repeat what you just heard. What's this word? Stop playing. What did you just say? Young man, keep your hands to yourself and know you cannot go to the bathroom. You should have done that before class. Class, please just be quiet. Students, focus. I said students, focus. Why every day must we digress? Dear students, I want you to know that my heart I am giving you, myself once falling victim to a distraction, so I am begging you, pleading you, and asking that you see you as I see you, which is this person of strength. Please don't appreciate my effort and don't give thanks. Just know that you have what it takes. You all are amazing. You just have to embrace it. So class is about to be over. Let's go over today's lesson. You all are amazing when you try. Your effort should never die, and tomorrow's homework, which everyone should have, is to write a paper to your future you. Really, just think about all the questions that you're going to ask. I really cannot wait until tomorrow. I can't wait until tomorrow because today, they understood. Good morning, class. Please get out your homework from yesterday. What do you mean you don't have it? 
What do you mean you don't have it? Raise your hands if you have it higher. Let me see your elbows over your heads. Reach for the success that we are trying to show you how to achieve and realize that it is in arm's reach. A stretch for a better next, which it seems obvious that you all don't want. As I try to teach, reach, and educate, which you would rather procrastinate and even worse, evade. So it seems that that reach for you students is a self-sabotage missing. Leaving your want for accomplished dreams empty. Dear students, I really hope one day that you all will wake up. Thank you. Carver Poetry Festival, very thankful and honored that you all have given me the opportunity to share my work. It honestly gives me chills every day just thinking about the last Carver Poetry Festival. So I'm really looking forward to October 16th. It's going to be phenomenal. I've got one more poem for you all. Let's do this one. Is it even possible? I know it seems logical, but sometimes I really wonder if it's a possible obstacle to actually give thanks, to show how much you really appreciate the fact that God would you up this day. To simply say thank you honestly doesn't seem like it's enough. The magnitude of my gratitude can even be compared to the measure of the world's longitude and latitude if needed. I'd walk the distance from the earth to the moon, which has been charted at 232,088 miles to express with every breath in my chest, that God has given me the reason to smile. That he has given me the opportunity to be here now, so I stand proud. The simple two-word sentence of thank and you in conjunction honestly seems so redundant considering his ability to wake up everyone in the world and he still remembers me. While giving me the eyes to see and the ability to reach inside of me and bring forth these ways that he gave me, he just keeps giving while I'm taking and he's giving, and it seems that all he ever wants me to say, all he ever wants us all to say is just, thank you. Thank you so much for all of you who are going to watch this video, for all of you who have an appreciation for poetry, for all of you who don't even know you have an appreciation for poetry, and are going to watch this and hear a phenomenal poet, or read a phenomenal poem, and be inspired. That's really what we're here for. Thank you, Carver.